Hey, this is Dr. G, and I'm here with actor Eric Roberts. He's an Academy Award and Golden Globe nominated actor. Eric, I want to welcome you to Engaging Minds. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. How's your how's your quarantine going? My quarantine has been actually kind of fascinating to me from a psychological point of view. I feel as though I'm learning so much about myself and it's forcing me to deal with issues. It's also both scary and overwhelming at times and also fascinating at times. So I'm having like both those experiences. I'm right with you. I, I've, I've, I've discovered through this process that I do indeed have a very good marriage. So it's been good for me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've discovered that too, but I've also come across, I wanted to ask you this question. I've been dealing with a lot of patients. A lot of my work is in drug and alcohol uh, rehab, and I've been noticing there's been an increase in uh, sort of people relapsing out of sobriety because they're experiencing let's say a disconnection or an inability to deal with certain feelings. I'm wondering what your thoughts, what advice you can give to people based on maybe some of your own experiences in dealing with sobriety during this challenging time. Well, it's a great time to explore or re-explore your whole situation. And just be honest with yourself, like sit at your desk, write down your fears, write down your wants, write down your hopes, write down your failures, write down your triumphs, write stuff down like a child, and then just look at it in front of you. Now, I do this kind of thing when I build new characters, but you can also do that when you're just, you know, working on yourself, you know, and, uh, and it's easy, it's simplistic, and it's kind. You're not, you're not driving yourself. You're simply talking to yourself, understanding yourself, having a little clarity. And, uh, you yeah. know, I think a lot of it is also, I agree with you 100% uh, that uh, one of the things I've said to patients is, what about if we change the words around isolation instead of, I'm going through a meditative period in my life? that is asking me to slow down, examine myself, check my feelings out, and, and really see this as, as a turning point of how I can better myself, how I could change. It puts that positive spin on things. And uh, also what I tell people from a practical point of view, we're so lucky now to have things like Zoom. There's a lot of AA meetings that are present on Zoom. Right. There's a lot of connection. There's some benefit. You can meet people in other cities and countries that you maybe never would have met before. So that sense of community could really expand. And I, I don't, I don't want to get, you know, silly here, but this is get silly. <laughs> stuff. you're quarantined with your better other half. Re-explore all that. Like the, the, the other night, last night, the night before, I gave, I gave my wife a rub down. I explored her a whole, I haven't looked at my wife's back in probably six months. I looked at every centimeter of her back. I know my wife's back. And uh, just small stuff like that, it makes life a pleasure. And, uh, and remember the easy stuff like that, it's also free. <laughs> and uh, and it, 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 it isn't even electrified, you don't turn on the TV, it's free. You just explore your wife's back and uh, she has a beautiful back. And exactly what you said, it also gives you the time. There isn't this time pressure that we're always feeling. Like I actually can take the freedom now to explore my wife's back. Just like I'm, it's a great metaphor. Just like I'm exploring myself in this great way during this period. Uh, a final yeah. question we had talked quickly about. Everyone's talking about how, you know, this is going to change things forever that will never go, there's gonna be a new normal. I'm wondering if you have any thoughts around psychology, spirituality, whatever it is, a combination of both. How do you think this can create a new normal for us on that level? Well, that's a big question, Doc. I know, and we'll have 30 seconds before we get you back on. That's a big question. What, it, what it's going to do, what it has no choice of but to do, is to make you know the world an honest village because we all realize we all have an effect on each other. So we make it a village and we can all communicate this way. And we all have an effect on each other if we get out in the world and we touch each other. But this way we can help each other. 
That way we can hurt each other. So we're going to have to make the adjustment and we're going to have to be kind to each other. And we're going to, and I feel bad for the kids, for the, for the two-year-olds, the five-year-olds. That's hard, dude. That's yeah, because they're so, they just don't get it, you know. It's, oh, it's, why should they get it? That's hard. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel bad for my dog when I walk my dog because I see her <laughs> wanting to go up to other dogs and not being able to connect. And I don't know how to reach out and explain to her right now that we can't do it. But on the other side, she's definitely getting a lot more walks than she ever has gotten. You know, when I when I go for my walks, the neighborhood, we all have on our masks. I see my neighbors. The animals have never been happier. Everybody's yeah, exactly. on the animals, but I'm all, all so happy. Yeah. <laughs> and I love what you're saying. The message I feel like you're giving everyone is, you know, keep it simple, keep it positive. Uh, look at this as a positive time to self-reflect and make some real changes in your life. Still ahead on Dr. G Engaging Minds, an acting lesson with Eric and Eliza Roberts. We're in a pandemic. There are no jobs. There are no jobs, not my problem.